Hi everyone. I wanted to talk to you quickly today about a very important issue that really pertains mostly to people who care for pigs, but also it's important for everybody to have this information because the more people that have the information, the more people that can share the information, the more people we can educate and the more animals we can save together. Um, and that's why I do these videos. Um, so what I want to talk about today is uh, a video that I had done, an educational video on this a few months ago regarding pigs and dogs together. So recently some of you may have seen um, online about a farm pig like Thomas who was recently attacked by a dog and she lost both of her ears, she lost an eye, and she almost lost a leg. Um, and this is not an isolated incident. Pigs and dogs are not natural companions and uh, it's us that takes them and puts them together and thinks that they're going to do fine together. Remember that pigs are prey animals and dogs are omnivores and they do hunt. Um, so it's very important that if you do have a dog and a pig together that you take the measures um, that are appropriate to keep them separated. You should not have your dog and pig, um, you know, most people don't have farm pigs in their house except for maybe Steve and Derek with Esther, um, but uh, most people that have pot belly pigs in the house, some of them have dogs and it's really important that those animals are kept separate when they are not uh, being monitored. Um, People will say to me, but my dog is so gentle. Well, you know what? Most people say that until their pig is attacked. Um, it's not a joke. It's a serious issue, and it's something that's very important, and you need to understand. The sweetest dog, the golden retriever, the, the chocolate lab, uh, the beautiful German shepherd, all of these animals are sweet and wonderful, but again, um, they can only take so much. So if you see online, you see the videos of the, the adorable piglet chasing around the dog, and they look like they're best friends together. What you have to understand is, again, these are not animals that would normally hang out together. What that pig is doing is uh, that pig is practicing, um, you know, the behaviors that they need to do to protect themselves within their herd. Um, so what they will, like, look at that right there. That's something that pigs do. Well, if a pig does that to a dog, the dog's only going to take that so many times, and then the dog's going to fight back. Dogs have a lot uh, sharper teeth than pigs do and cause a lot of damage. So if there's a fight between a dog and a pig, the dog's going to win. Um, it's not something to take lightly, like I said. It's very, very important. Um, please look it up. Do your research. Um, I always say don't listen to just me. You need to find out these things on your own uh, by doing your research. But I'm telling you from the amount of horrors that I've seen from dog attacks on pigs, uh, it's really important to protect your pig. Now, this can happen even if you don't own a dog. Let's say that you have, you know, a pig and it has uh, space in your backyard and the neighbor has a dog. You need to ensure that your fences are strong and high enough to protect your pig from the neighbor's dog. We have heard horrible stories about dogs jumping fences to attack pigs. Um, so it's not an isolated incident. It's something that happens all the time and it's something to be taken very seriously. Um, so I don't want to give you a, a big downer, but it is something that, that needs to be known. A lot of people still don't know of the dangers between dogs and pigs. Um, if you do have a pig in your house and everybody's coexisting nicely, that's awesome. But do remember that uh, pigs are prey animals and they are really susceptible to being attacked. So please put the measures in place in order to protect your piggies. Have a fantastic day, everyone.